Hello once again, welcome to the next part on how to obtain your ham radio, uh, amateur radio uh, license. Uh, it's been a while since I put up uh, a video and there's a reason for that. I've been studying for my test. Uh, I've decided to go ahead and take uh, both the technician test exam and the general class uh, exam on the same day. And uh, I still need to schedule those. These are the books uh, I showed you this one before, which was the uh, technician class licensed uh, study manual. And I went ahead and bought uh, the uh, general uh, class also and studied it. And there's a, there's a lot of stuff in these books that I'll be referring back to from time to time. I wanted these books primarily for reference. And uh, I also went to, the, I think it's the QRZ.com, QRZ.com website. And... Uh, that also helped me with my exam questions but when I ran into one I didn't understand I would go to the book and read all about it and uh, hopefully after a couple it's been more than two months uh, hopefully I'm ready and in about an hour I'm going down to the uh, Smitty's Barbecue I'm going to link back up with the Faulkner County uh, Amateur Radio Club membership and I'm going to tell the volunteer examiner hopefully Glenn King will be there I'm going to tell him that I'm ready to test and uh, I told him I would return in the middle of April, and it is the middle of April. Well, here we are once again, folks. We're fixing to go inside and link up once again with the Faulkner County Amateur Radio Club. Greetings. Well, who, who's the first feller I run into but Glenn King, just the guy I'm looking for. I come to tell you it is the middle of April, as I told you, and I am ready for my testing. And what do you have to say about that, young fella? Well... When would you like to do this? At test? your convenience. Can't do it this weekend. I'll be out of town. I'm leaving at 2 o'clock. Uh, but any time from here on out till the day I die. <laughs> I will schedule a test for Monday. Uh -huh. I'll be here at uh, probably around 1130. I, we can give you the test as soon as three VEs show up. Oh, okay. All right. I will be here at 1130 Monday. Okay. Well, today is Monday. It is 11.34, and I'm fixing to head on into the barbecue uh, place and take my ham license test for tech and general. Wish me luck, folks. Well, once again, Glenn is here, and he's got his bag of goodies to give me my test. This is what the uh, answer form will look like. And this will be a 35-question multiple-choice test. Is that correct? I failed to cover that in our first interview, okay? 30, and if I pass the first one, I'll take the second one. You can take the general. And if I don't pass the first one, I get beat up. Is that right? I'm going to put this camera on a tripod and sort of place it over where I'm going to take the test and let it kind of look at me so they can see me actually doing it and crying in my beer. Okay. Well, we, we have the, uh, the duty now of looking at your picture ID. I have it ready, Monsignor. And next is uh, $15. And I have that ready, too. There's my picture ID. And here's my $15. Okay, Glenn said I could go ahead and uh, take my test right here at the corner of the table, right where I was sitting. So that's what I'm going to be doing in a couple of minutes. Okay, how did I do, Master King? You did very well. You missed one total from both tests. Okay, so I actually I got a general. You passed. I passed the general both class the, license. The general class license. Congratulations, well, thank, New Ham. Thank you very much. Who all looked at my test? Who was the? Uh, now it took three volunteer examiners. You were one. Who were the other two? And, and you were number two. And who was number three? Frankie? No, no, no. Well, there he is right there. He's the third volunteer examiner. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, that's the end of this. That's how you get your license for a handy to become an amateur radio operator, correct? Correct. All right.